This is the dramatic lake of Serponçon in one of the most stunning valleys of the Alps near the town of Embrun. Situated in a most picturesque setting on a cliff formation carved over thousands of years by the fast-flowing Durance River, the small town of Embrun brings much of its population together on market days. What a lovely small market. I can't resist buying a basket of the most beautiful strawberries. Ça sent bon, hein? They smell divine. It is quite typical for Alpine farmers to sell their cheeses at the local market. And this Tom de Shine is really superb. It is cow's milk cheese. The animals eat the grass between 1,000 and 2,000 meters. So much flavor. And that really gives all the quality of the cheese. It is soft, it is delicious. It's a great family cheese. You know, you can almost taste the pastures. Those natural yogurt set in the pot made at the farm with fresh milk are irresistible. It is a thrill to visit the outstanding pastry and chocolate shop of Luc and Marie-Claire Irier, bordering the market square. Luc, a master chocolatier, is the author of a beautiful illustrated book featuring chocolate sculptures. His handmade creations made with the exquisite Valrhona chocolate have exotic flavors. There is a sublime marriage of raspberry and violet called Soubois. Luc has dedicated a chocolate to Marie Claire that has a clementine and wild thyme flavor. I can't resist tasting a Guimauve coquelicot, a light and delicate modern type of marshmallow flavored with poppy flower petals. The delicate and appetizing patisseries are some of the best I have seen on this gourmet tour. I would love to taste them all. I will have to come back. These yabby and truffle turnovers are a special occasion treat. I begin by cooking a chopped shallot in butter and stir in half a tablespoon of vinegar and a mix of carrots, celery and mushrooms, all cut into fine julienne strips. Season with salt and pepper and cook until the vegetables are just done. Next, I gently mix in some cooked yabbies, then transfer to a dish to cool. I brush the edge of four thin rounds of puff pastry with a little egg yolk and spoon two yabbies and some cooked vegetables in the center of the pastry. I top with a good pinch of small truffle sticks. Together with the vegetables, the truffle adds a magic touch to this dish. I fold the pastry to trap the filling inside. I seal the edges, brush the top with some egg yolk and make a light crisscross pattern on top using a fork. It takes about 20 minutes to cook in the oven at 200 degrees. These chaussons d'écrevisses aux truffes are amazingly delicious. Tomorrow I am high in the mountain near the Alpes d'Huez to discover the specialties including the great patisseries.